I'm going to show you how to import bank statements into Sage Business Cloud Accounting from a CSV bank statement. The norm in accounting these days is to automate your tasks as much as possible because it enables you to handle the influx of transactions that comes with a growing business. Importing reduces data capturing errors and removes the time spent on unnecessary tasks so that you can assign resources to optimal areas of your business that results either in growth or other improvements. This is a game changer in the business of bookkeeping, saving ourselves and our clients time, or for the business owner who is taking a shot at doing this task himself. From the outset, as will be revealed in this video, it is not a complex process at all. Sage Cloud Accounting makes accounting really simple and easy by reducing unnecessary steps like matching and organizing bank transactions over various screens, really simplifying the process, but still getting the same or even better results than other online accounting programs. You may ask, what is the importance of importing bank transactions? Well, bank data is a major focus for accountants and business owners because our banks do such a good job of recording the biggest part of our business, which is then used for reporting purposes in financial statements and in our tax returns. The bank data contains useful information about receipts and payments, dates of occurrence, description of payee, references like invoice numbers, and amounts. Bank transactions are arguably the most important data in a business, hence the reason for this video and others to follow. To understand the flow of bank data imports, let's quickly talk about bank data formats. Banks do a good job of providing us various format options in which we can get the data that we need. We may choose to extract the data from our internet banking in PDF, OFX or CSV format, just to name a few. We can then in turn use these data files to our advantage. Today we are going to focus on CSV importing. Nowadays CSV file formats are very popular and widely used. For example, here we have a bank statement email from the bank and guess what we receive the bank statement in two formats a pdf file and a csv file i'm going to download both files i always keep the pdf file as well as a reference to compare my accounting bank data back to my bank statements the csv file is downloaded to my pc and is stored in my downloads folder I click on the file to open it. It is important to note that you cannot merely import the CSV file without first looking at it. And in this case, if your file looks like this, you will have to adjust and tweak it to get it ready to import. The time spent on tweaking this file is no bother to me because it is still much faster than manually capturing bank statements. To prepare the CSV file, we are going to use a little bit of Excel skills. If you get stuck in preparing your CSV file for import, you can always come back to this video as a guide. Also, remember the following requirements when importing into Sage. You need a header row and only three columns. In the first column, the date, the second column, the description of the transactions, and the third column, the transaction amount. That is the only data that you need. To be noted is that each cell within your spreadsheet must contain data. The CSV file that I downloaded and opened is the typical file that you may expect, especially if you are a FNB banking client. We start by deleting information that cannot be imported and is not useful for us for this purpose. We delete the top heading summary of transactions that we don't need. The first column has the number 5 in each cell, with the second column numbering the transactions. You delete 
both columns. If we expand the next three columns, we find a description 1, a description 2, and a reference. There is no data in the second description column, making it an easy removal. You also don't need the accrued charges. The reference column sometimes contains data that is essential for describing or identifying transactions, and I prefer to include it in my data. I do this by combining the description 1 column with the reference column. It is fairly simple to combine two cells in Excel with a formula. That formula is equals B2, the first cell, then the AND sign, followed by a space, which is achieved with a quotation mark, space, and another quotation mark. Then the AND sign again, and selecting the second cell, C2, and enter. You can see the effect of the combined cell, which is ideal for a description of this transaction, which help you when categorizing bank transactions. The combined description formula is copied to the end of our data fields. The next step is to copy the data of that column to our first description column and paste it as values and not a formula by selecting paste values. Now we can get rid of the combined cell data we have created by deleting the column as well as the reference column as its data is included in our combined cell. Sage is not going to accept the bank balance data so we delete the balance column and we are left with the three columns that we need. We are not done yet because the date data has been imported as text and we need to fix it. I'm going to show you how I convert it to a date format. There are also other ways of doing it, but if you have an easier method, please share it with us in the comment section. I start by adding two more columns next to the date to make room for my formatted date data. I select the date column, go to data, open text to columns, choose delimited, click on next, set the delimiters by selecting other, enter apostrophe, remove the tab delimiter and select apostrophe as text qualifier. Click on next. Select the column at the bottom and then under column, date format, select the date as DMY and then click on finish. The text data has been converted to a date format, but it is still not the right format for importing into Sage. Select all the date data, right click and then format cells. Select the DDMMYY format and click OK. Then we delete the two columns with no data in. Our CSV file is ready to be imported. Sometimes the import fails, and so we waste a lot of time figuring out what the problem might be. I prefer to use a shortcut to circumvent this issue, and this is my file save method to always ensure that the CSV file import works. The method works as follows. I retrieve the Sage download example so that I can use it as a template and in the process save some time. The Sage download sample is difficult to obtain, but I found an easy way to get it. You go to Sage Cloud Accounting. I am on a workspace screen, and from here I need to get to the banking screen. There are a few ways to do this. One way is to click on the icon with the import bank statements text, which takes you to your bank transactions. Then, click on import bank statements. We are purposefully going to upload a CSV file that should fail the Sage import, whereby Sage will then assist by providing a CSV template. For this, I'm going to use the downloaded CSV file. Select CSV in the import file type, then browse to find the CSV file. Select it and click on the blue import file button. An error message will appear informing you of a problem with the import file, which is exactly what I want at this point. 
But this is not the message that you want to see when importing your final CSV file. Select View Example and then click on the Download an Example button. I will be using this example as my import template. Open the template file and you will see the three columns with four rows of data. This is exactly how our import data should look like. Keep the header row and delete the four sample transactions that Sage has loaded into this file. We open the CSV file that we previously worked on and prepared for the import and then select each row along with the three columns but excluding the header because we will be using the Sage template header. Copy and paste it into our Sage template. Then I'm going to save it by giving it a different name to identify the file still leaving it as a CSV comma delimited file. We go back to Sage, close the error message and this time we are going to import our final bank statement that we prepared. Select CSV, leave the date format as is, browse and choose the file. You will see the file name appearing in the field next to the browse button. Click on the import file button. If all goes well, you get the message that your CSV file import completed successfully. You get important information about the bank transactions such as 18 rows were imported and I have 7 duplicate transactions that I need to review. The next step for me will be to ensure that those bank transactions are categorized correctly and in my case I need to review the duplicate transactions, which will form part of my bank reconciliation after all the transactions have been categorized. Well, this is the end of the video about importing bank transactions into Sage Business Cloud Accounting from CSV Bank Statements. Well done on making it right to the end.